Hello, I'm John Daniels, Chairman and Co-Founder of Canaptic. We're developing wearable electronics for digital healthcare. We founded Canaptic to develop products based on our patented haptic human machine interface. Here you can see my co-founder Joe controlling me to mirror his hand movement using an early prototype of this breakthrough technology. A core feature of our patented technology is the ability to detect, analyze, and apply electrical signals to and from the human body. This technology platform lends itself to a broad spectrum of uses, with particular advantages for digital healthcare applications. Our wearable electronics are designed to be adaptable for high volume, roll to roll manufacturing. We have focused first on wearable electronics for medical use cases with a software change enabling disease specific features from the same basic form factor in electronics. We have created wearable electronics for stroke rehabilitation using the body's own electrical systems to improve patient outcomes. Our contracture sleeve is put on at the hospital and prevents muscle atrophy. Our pinching grasp sleeve is put on at home and returns life skills to the patient. Our VR stroke rehab system rewires the brain around the damaged area. This patient's hand hasn't moved on its own in 18 months. Our contracture sleeve applies electrical muscle stimulation to stretch his arm with involuntary muscle contractions. This should be the standard of care at every hospital. The contracture sleeve and pinch and grasp sleeve keep the body ready for rapid rehabilitation. Our VR stroke rehab system retrains the brain using an enjoyable gaming experience. Neuroplasticity is invoked in the brain by involuntary muscle contractions synchronized with virtual reality audio and visual cues. Brain plasticity is the transference of brain activity from one brain location to another. The neuronal pathways of the brain get rerouted around the damaged area. The first in our pipeline of post-stroke recovery products goes on right at the hospital at the beginning of the stroke patient's journey. At home, our pinch and grasp sleeve returns life skills. Our VR stroke rehab system enables at-home patient monitoring and physical rehabilitation. My co-founder Joe is a graduate from MIT. I'm an innovator and patent attorney and have sold inventions to the largest companies including Microsoft. We expect to hire 10 to 20 new full-time employees over the next year. Of course, there's competition. We love competition. Competition shows the enabling technologies being applied for stroke rehabilitation. Only our VR stroke system has our patented wearable electronics that use the body's own electrical systems to invoke neuroplasticity and reconnect the brain with the body. Having this awesome technology platform is critical for our success. It's also important to have barriers to the competition. As a patent attorney and inventor, we have been building Canaptic's international patent portfolio since 2013. We already have issued patents in the US and expect our first Chinese patent in six to nine months. When doing due diligence on us, you will be pleasantly amazed by the depth and breadth of our international patent portfolio and the many uses of our wearable electronic technologies. For example, in the US there are nearly 800,000 new stroke patients every year. But because of the cost of a physical therapist requiring expensive visits to a PT clinic, most of the time the money runs out long before the patient has reached their rehabilitation potential. China has the biggest increase in stroke patients with 2 million new stroke patients every year. There are too few doctors, too few physical therapists in China. Our wearable electronic system can be a big part of the answer to China's healthcare crisis. Our patented products improve patient outcomes for other diseases too. Our solutions fit into existing reimbursement models and the enabling technology is already FDA approved. Our foundational technology applied as a universal wrap for electronic pain relief is being released early next year through an online pharmacy called GoGoMeds. With our strategic partner, Bear Pharmaceuticals, 
we are very soon deploying our technology as a wearable electronic for global cardiovascular digital health care. With the ability to detect biometric information and digital biomarkers for AI-assisted diagnosis, drug discovery, and remote patient monitoring. In another product example drawn from our extensive IP, a non-invasive sweat stimulator enables detection of glucose levels without pinpricks or drawing blood. This sweat chemistry detector combined with a wearable electronic garment creates a diabetes treatment and monitoring system. Electrical muscle stimulation causes involuntary muscle contractions to burn off glucose stored in the large muscles of the upper legs, allowing the body's natural systems to help regulate insulin and assist in the control of type 2 diabetes. Using a smartphone interface, the detected sweat chemistry data is sent wirelessly for remote patient monitoring. This remote patient monitoring is clearly the future of healthcare. Diabetes is a major health concern in China. The World Health Organization reports that one out of three diabetic adults are in China, with diabetes now affecting 15% of the adult population. We have established a foundation for sustained company growth with multiple market opportunities, and we are putting real points on the board. We have been in Berlin, Germany for the past year developing our thrombosis prevention and remote patient monitoring product funded by Bayer. Canaptic receives revenue as the manufacturer of our wearable electronics with our partners providing worldwide sales and distribution. We would duplicate this model for the additional separately licensed fields of use and also create multiple revenue streams from our own manufactured products. We are looking for an investment of $5 million. We have a rock solid foundation of intellectual property, know-how and relationships. We have patent protected products in enormous and accessible markets. And the Canaptic team will achieve our goals with a transparent milestone gated use of funds plan. So we are flexible to reasonable investment terms that will maximize our enterprise value and your return on investment. In the US, healthcare consumes more GDP than we spend on the military, energy, and food combined. In the last 20 years, China has reduced child and maternal mortality, reduced rates of infectious diseases, invested in expanding the healthcare infrastructure, and has created near universal health insurance coverage. Now, after lifting more than 600 million people out of poverty, China is facing slower growth, an aging population, and a surge in non-communicable diseases. The World Health Organization recommends a shift away from the hospital-centric model to a new model focused on more efficient and better patient outcomes centered on primary care. If there's no reform, health spending in China will increase at 8.4% per year with more than 60% of the growth coming from hospital inpatient services. In the US, healthcare costs are already crippling the financial stability of many people, accounting for 66.5% of family bankruptcies. Healthcare costs consume too much of our productivity, creates unsustainable financial instability. We must innovate to find a solution to these problems now. Digital healthcare has the potential in a very, very short time to change the way healthcare is provided to all people everywhere. I truly believe we are on the cusp of a revolution. My company is committed to contribute to a positive impact on the health and well-being of all people of the world. China and the US are the world's two largest economies. So we must understand that we have a responsibility to find where and when we can cooperate and collaborate to advance digital healthcare. Confucius said that the grass must bend to the wind. So too, we must bend to this responsibility. I am very hopeful that this opportunity enabled by V2V, my company can begin a long lasting beneficial relationship with our Chinese friends and partners. Thank you.